think about the good times that we had here and how we, I felt like that we was doing something to help because we knew that going overseas to fight for our country. During World War II, the military was segregated, so the soldiers that were coming to Camp Shelby, they really didn't have a lot of places to go. So one of the reasons they built the USO in this particular community is because this was once a very vibrant African-American district. We come and do a dance and, you know, with them and all, but just it was a relaxing time for them and us too because we didn't have the facilities they had here around in our community at that time in the 40s. It was just like being in heaven. <laughs> this is a historic building, so we definitely wanted to keep that stage there. Um, the picture that's on the back, that's an actual stage. That's an actual band that performed here when this was a USO, it was a Camp Shelby bomb drivers. So when people come in, we want them to always remember that, hey, this is a room that a lot of entertainment and, and the dances, this is what happened. And the one thing stood out when what I did with here was uh, letter writing. They, some of the soldiers, they couldn't really, they knew what they wanted to say, but they didn't know how to put it together and say it. And that was one thing that stuck out with me. I would try to help them at, from a later standpoint, because in the meantime, I was writing letters, <laughs> love letters too. <laughs> any given day, um, you know, a World War II veteran may stop by um, just to sit and chat and I, I don't take that for granted. I know that that's not, um, that's not common and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. They, were, they was elated to have a place to go, you know, a home away from home, so to speak. And they were really proud of it. And that was a big thing in my life. I can't remember. Right. <laughs>